this video, I'm going to be going over some of the features of the NetBurner debug environment. To begin with, I've created a very simple application called Debug Demo. This application initializes my network settings and starts incrementing the LEDs. As you can see in the web camera view, this application is already running on the device. Before I debug, I'm going to check some settings in NetBurner options. What I'm checking is that target platform and IP address are correct. I can see my device right here, Mod 5282, and my MAC address, which can also be found on the device right here. I verify that they're the same, and I found the IP address is 171. So it's set correctly, and I'm going to click OK. Debug this app. Click on your application. Click Debug. Select NB Application, and the debug process will begin. First, the application is loaded onto the device over the network, and then NB Eclipse will connect to the device. Once it's connected, you'll get this option to switch perspectives. Now this will just change your view around so that you see some of the debug windows are now open. Immediately you'll see your task list right here. You see the names of all the tasks and their priority. I'm going to set a breakpoint on put LEDs by double clicking next to put LEDs. Once I hit the breakpoint you can see main has been suspended because breakpoint has been hit. I can now see all the active variables I which is the number that's being incremented. Now I can change I on the spot by single clicking, select a new number, and resume. I selected the new number, it incremented the new number, so now I'm at 91. I can also view I in memory by clicking view memory. And now I can see my memory down here in hex. If you don't want it to be in hex, switch to sign integer and you can see the numbers match. Another feature is you can see the current registers. Now I'm not utilizing the registers, but you can see all the current registers that are being used. When you click play in register view, this is updated in real time. Now you can also step into, step over, step return through your breakpoints. I'm going to step once, and now I'm in OS time delay. You can see registers, some values turn yellow. That means these values changed in that step. I'm going to go back to variable view. Stepping again, and I return to the while loop. Stepping again, and I'm back at put LEDs. Now let's say I want to step into put LEDs. Click step into, and you're taken into the code to where put LEDs is. Now sometimes you may see this error window pop up. This means you don't have the source on the path. To do this, to fix this, click on edit source lookup path. I'm going to add file system directory and I know that I need to go to mod 5282 under nburn and system and I want to add that. Click OK once again and now I'm in that that location where I stepped into. Stepping again will continue through that put LEDs. Now once I'm done stepping through put LEDs, say I want to go back to main.cpp. I'm going to click step return and it's going to finish out that value and go back to main.cpp. To get rid of your breakpoint, simply double click again and click play. Another way to manage breakpoints is to enter your breakpoint and switch to breakpoint view. Here you can disable and enable breakpoints if you have several breakpoints throughout your app and you only want to hit one or two of them. You can uncheck them there. Disable, run, 
and now my application has continued. It's running as normal. And you can see in the web camera view that it's now stepping through the LEDs. To terminate or to stop your, your debug process, you click one of the stop buttons. So I'm going to terminate. That disconnects the debugger, disconnects NB Eclipse. The application is now running in normal mode. There's no debugger attached, so it's just running as normal. You can switch back to NetBurner perspective and you're back to where you were.